the, the uh, Joe Biden's accomplishments. When you look at what the Republicans in the House have accomplished, I mean, what stands out? It, are, are there real accomplishments to, to look at? I mean, because so many ran on, you know, border security. What have they actually done on border security? Well, they've done nothing. I mean, I guess they didn't default on debt. That's a good thing. They're about to close down the government. That's not a good thing. Um, so I don't know. I mean, I, I think it's such a tight majority, but Nancy Pelosi had a really tight majority and was able to achieve a lot of stuff. So, look, they're going to turn around and impeach Joe Biden because and I actually a year ago, I said they're going to impeach Joe Biden. Why? Because they have to because of the pressures there. So that's what they're going to try to run on achievements. It's just it's hard to do. You have a party right now that is so divided that is so divided against itself that doesn't agree on the outcomes and where they want to go. So, no, there have been no Republican achievements, I guess, maybe stopping some of Joe Biden's priorities. You know, Audie, when uh, the first impeachment of President Trump, when it was announced by uh, Speaker, then Speaker Pelosi, she said it's not, you know, this is an inquiry. It's not ne necessarily going to be an impeachment. Uh, a lot of Republicans scoffed at that and said, look, it's like, you know, once you jump out of a plane, you're, you're committed to it. Um, it's now the flip. Now the Republicans are saying, well, look, this is, or McCarthy is saying, this is just an inquiry. Do you think it's inevitable that this leads to impeachment? I think that impeachment was originally to be considered an extreme sanction on a very a person in a very important and high office, and that the public has not looked kindly on impeachments that they think are about goosing the polls or, as Mr. Kinzinger essentially said, trying to create achievement where there is none. Um, and people have become far more savvy about what impeachment is trying to accomplish or not, and it is doing damage to the process itself. Congressman, you heard Speaker Pelosi say that former President Trump and certain members of the Republican caucus are pulling the strings on impeachment. Is that how you see it? I mean, obviously CNN has been reporting. Trump talked to GOP conference chair Lisa Stefanik about this just yesterday. Yeah, I mean, look, I don't, I don't think it's necessarily that somebody is pulling the strings. What I have learned is that whenever you have kind of an extreme idea or a crazy idea that is suggested, that ends up having to happen because now everybody is kind of compared to the craziest idea. So what I'd go to a Lincoln Day dinner when I was in, and oh, it's a big Republican fundraiser things, and you'd always hear five people that had these crazy theories. And you knew that a year later when you went back there, everybody would be saying those crazy theories. theories. So, yeah, the, the, the train is out of the station. They're going to have to try to impeach Joe Biden regardless of what they come up with. And, Anderson, I just want to say to my Democratic friends out there, please don't use this. You have every right to, but don't use this as an excuse to mimic some of these Republican processes because we have to have at least one party that is steadfast holding to standards, holding to democratic principles, small d, and, and saying that impeachment is something only to be used in extreme circumstances. Democrats have every right to fight fire with fire, but please don't because you right now are the adults trying to hold democracy together. Given your experience in the House, do you think Speaker McCarthy keeps his job? I don't know. I mean, I look, I he, he's kind of surprised me a couple times, like with the debt limit deal and the fact that he actually even got elected uh, as speaker. But I think he's either going to have to completely capitulate to the likes of Matt Gates or he will certainly have his job threatened. I would not want to be in the GOP conference right now, because I'll tell you what, I, I was angry at times when we would have these kinds of debates and they've gotten way further down the crazy track than when I was there. So uh, I think he survives maybe, but maybe not. Adam Kinsker, thanks. Audit Cornish as well.